Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurd. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is prepping a horn for repainting and things you need to look at and how to do this. I sent the horn out to the stripper on the corner because that's a lot easier for me than having it done. And this is how it comes back. But you'll see that the rust comes out because these horns are over 100 years old now. And the nice thing about having it commercially stripped is, when I looked at it, I went, why is the sheet metal blue here? Well, somebody put a torch to it at one time, and I have another spot right here. What you want to do is, I'm going to point out a few things about the horn of my angel things. You see these lines going this way, like this is rough right here? Okay, that's, that's because when they're, this is sheet metal work, and when they're bending it in the sheet metal machine, it gets that serration in it from the rollers, and that's normal to it. What you want to first do, you're going to start with a panel like this. And you need to clean it down, and you can see the serrations, with 320 grit sandpaper. Then, when you're done, you want to polish it out with 4 aught steel wool. And you can see the reflection difference. You need to get this as smooth as possible. Then, you need to know what color you're going to use. Well, my customer picked the color, and I said, okay. And this is the color they're going to use. And this is already dry. And this is done in a lacquer. Creamy yellow. A creamy yellow. But first I'm using, you can see here, a base of silver. You see this silver right here where my finger is? And then here's the final finished product. Well, if you're using Colormex primer paint like this, I'm using the silver as a primer and then the yellow. This is lacquer. So you can spray, because this is lacquer, you can coat it with a def clear once you're done to make it shiny if you want to, and that's what the customer wants. But, if you paint it with Rust-Oleum black, that is an enamel, that's not a lacquer. So if you shoot the black with the def, your paint's going to crinkle because your lacquer is going to attack the enamel. The other thing is, if you paint them with a Rust-Oleum black, you can use their primer on this to stop the rust and go back originally. Originally, they were done in enamel. And these are a few things you need to look at, and you really need to test the paint before you apply it to your horn. Just a little piece of metal. Say, okay, this is what I want. And you go, oops, I shot it with Rust-Oleum enamel and I shouldn't have used Def and it got all crinkly. Now I'm going to have to start over again. You have to know your paints. Is it lacquer or is it enamel? Paint you're using. This is a lot of fun and that's my tip for the day.